Hello everyone, this is Johannes and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are taking a look at a little game, a little abstract game from Michael Kiesling called Azul. It is a tile laying game where you're gonna put tiles out on a board to get points and have fun. Hopefully because that's what games are about, having fun. So is this game fun? Are you laying tiles on the board? Is it a tile laying game? It isn't, it was just something I said. But it is about tiles, it is about laying them on a board and getting points. So let's see how you play Azul and let's come back up afterwards and see what I think about the game. Okay, so let's talk about how you play Azul. Azul is a really, really simple game, so let's just go right through how you play it. The basics of the game is as follow. You're gonna have these round tiles here with this, this uh, mosaic uh, b b b tiles here on the on top of them. You're gonna have four on each of them, and depending on the man amount of players, you're gonna have a different amount of these round tiles. The beginning of the round, the player who has the first player marker is gonna put it in the middle of these round tiles, and then he's gonna have a choice. He's gonna have to take all the colors, uh, all the tiles of one color from one of these tiles. So let's. In this, this situation, I would want to take these four black ones. When I take these ones, I have to fill them in in my rows. And you see, I have one row with one, two, three, four, and five. In this example, it's going to be really simple for me to choose. I'm going to throw one of them on the floor because that's how you do it. So, we only have three of them now, and that's going to make it even more easier to choose because I'm going to put them here on the tree. The one that falls on the floor is gone from the game. It doesn't exist anymore. That's not a rule. It's just how this video is going to be. So, you're going to do this, have this tree over there, and then it's going to be another player's turn. Let's say another player is going to take these two blue, uh, blue things. And then the other ones that isn't chosen is going to go into the middle. And from now on, every player is going to have a choice. Does he want to take every, every tile of one color from one of these? Or do we want to take every tile of one color from the middle? The first player who takes hmm, the tile from the middle will also take the first player token, which will be worth a negative point at the end of the round. I'm going to come back to that. Let's just say I did that. I took the blue and I put it over here. Another player wants, let's say, a black one. These go into the middle. I want, I want to take this one because I'm going to try to fill out these, these number, these two spaces. I see there's two more. I'm probably going to try to get one more of those because I want to fill this out. And I'm going to come back to why you want to do that later. So we're going to continue. The other player, oh, he wants another black, he's gonna take that. These are going into the middle. And now you can see I have a little bit of a problem because there are two of these tiles here and I only have one space over here. So I'm probably gonna wanna take them anyways. I'm gonna take them, and I'm gonna fill it up and I'm not allowed to use this to fill anything else because everything you take at one action, you have to fill in one row. So that means I'm gonna to have to take this and put it down here and that's gonna make give me a negative points at the scoring end of this round. So we continue, another taking another black. I wanna take this red one, so this is gonna be really good for me. Uh, this is a good example. I don't usually play this good in the actual game. The other player is taking these blue ones. I'm taking a yellow, I can put this down here. I have no chance of fulfilling this, but let's say I do this. It goes down here, he takes another black. I have to take a blue. I have nowhere to put it, so I have to put it down here, and he takes a yellow. That's not yellow, that's red. He takes a red and put it over here. And you're gonna, you're gonna do this until all the tiles are gone, like we just did. And now you're gonna fill these tiles into your board. And the way this happens is that all the tiles, everything that's filled up, you're gonna have to put in here. So let's say this one is not filled up, so I cannot put it out. And this one, I, and you have to start at the top. So you see all these four rows I can actually fill in. So I'm gonna take one piece, put it out, and then I'm gonna score it. And the way you score is that you're gonna score one point for every, um, every, every tile in this direction and this direction. So in this example, I'm gonna get one point. Now I'm going to put out this one, and this is just going to be this discarded. You only use one of each. And now you see that this is going actually going to get me two points. The next one is going to give me three points, and the next one is going to give me four points. And I'm up to a total of ten points. 
what happens now is that I get my negative points and this tile is not completed this row so it's just gonna stay there until next turn. Now you can see that on the top here there are some negative points so for this one I'm gonna get negative one, for this one I'm gonna get negative one and for this one I'm gonna get negative two. So that's negative four and I'm all the way down to six points. And the next round is gonna start you're gonna draw more tiles and put them out on these on these spaces and you're going to continue doing what we just explained a couple of things is that of course when i have i have filled in a blue hair i can never put blue hair again because there's nowhere for the blue to go and that is with everything uh, is like that and you're going to score the points like that and the game is going to end when one player has filled one row this way a horizontal line is filled up then the game is going to end after that round and then there's going to be some end of game scoring you're going to score two points for every horizontal row uh, seven points for every um every vertical row and you're going to score 10 points for every color you have used all five spaces of that color and the player with the most points is the winner of azul and that's basically it so let's get back up to the table and see what i thought about this game and that is how you play azul azul is a really simple game it's so simple you have so few choices about what actions to take you're just going to take tiles trying to get uh, enough tiles of the same color that you want and then fill them into your board and hopefully get a lot of points. So this game is a lot about that choosing the right tiles at the right time also of course trying to deny other people the tiles that you want or the tiles that they really want like is it is it worth for me to take these two reds because i see you really need those red then it's going to be hard for you to get more red so i'm going to take this black and put even more into the middle so that you have to take if you really want a red you will have to take it and get some negative points as well and Let's first start with the components, because if you have seen this game in real life, these components are amazingly beautiful and awesome. These tiles, they have the right, right feel. They feel, they're not heavy at all, but they feel like there's something. They're not so light that it doesn't really feel like it. It feels like you have something that you just... It is, it is there. It's, it's, it's really, really, really nice. Also, like, everything is good. The components, the bag that you get, it's... It, it didn't really need to be this cloth bag, but it is a beautiful bag. The colors are amazing. It's a blue bag. Everything is just looking great. So, let's get to the gameplay. What do I think about this game? How it is to play? Doesn't matter if the game is beautiful, if it isn't fun to play. And I have to say, the first time I played this game, I didn't really like it. We played it one of the evenings in Essen, and... I was a little unsure, like, is there enough here? Is there anything going on? Is it really fun? I was having an okay time. It was a short game. It's a really short game, so you can play it play many times. So it's a great filler, but the game felt a little bit too light for me. Like, I enjoy light games. I enjoy games of all, all, all heavinesses. That's not a word. I made it up. Heavinesses. A games of all heavinesses. I um, enjoy that. But I felt there was a little bit too little going on in this game. When I got home, I got to play it quite a few more times, and I really liked it. Uh, it went from being a game I didn't really care so much about to a game I did really enjoy. The, the more you play it, uh, especially with the same people, also the more you play it, you will see more opportunities to, to do stuff that destroys the other player's plans. And I usually don't like that in games. I usually like sitting in my own place, doing this, doing this. But here that's the tension. It's the tension of, will you take those pieces? Like, usually we haven't seen in our games that people will just take the pieces because if they don't need them, they will, they will try to do the best for them and not just do stuff that will destroy the other players. But it's the tension of this game is, will I get the pieces I need? You draw the tiles, you see like, oh, there are four black here, but I'm not first. Somebody going to take those blacks. And they usually will do that. But another time you will see, oh, somebody took the red and put everything in here. And then someone took the blue and put everything in here. And that's perfect because I need these three blues. But then I will also get the first play token, which is good, but it's also worth a minus uh, negative point. So it's... Small, small decisions all the time, but they are interesting enough so that the game is fun. And it's basically a puzzle, like, it is a puzzle game, trying to do what you can, the best you can with the pieces you get. So you try, of course, to get the piece that will maximize your points. You try to build up your, uh, your, your board so that you will maximize the amounts of points you're getting. But 
Of course, that's not always going to be possible because there are other players. This, this whole game would be horribly boring. But it's enough there that I think it is a good game. I am not sure how fun it will be after maybe 10 plays, 15 plays, 20 plays, because it does feel like the same game every time. There isn't anything that changes the way I want to play. I want to make the rows, I want to get the most points, I want to put the pieces so that when I get another piece I will get a lot of points for that. It is the same game every time and that is maybe one thing I do not like about the game. One thing that will probably feel the same every time you play. And of course if you take it out just once in a while, play it a couple of times, it's going to be really, really good because you maybe have forgotten how it was to how you did it or you have just you just want to play something light and fun because it is a fun game. It's a nice little filler game. Uh, there is also a variant where you can play on the other side of the board, which has no colors so you can basically there's the same rules you cannot have the same color in in uh, in a row or uh, a column but you can choose which colors go where so um, we play this as well but i didn't really like it because it felt a little bit it it added more complexity without actually adding anything to the game i felt for me i didn't feel like it added much value beyond just playing the basic game and also when you play the the basic game it's easier to see what colors other players need and you can easier the interaction is more interesting with the, the beginner or the normal the normal game so for me the variant didn't really add anything but azul is a game i i really recommend if you want to play a light short filler game with enough decisions so it feels like a good game it feels like there's stuff here to do i really recommend checking it out and that's it that's azul from michael kiesling and plan b games and that's the end of the review and I'll yet again thank you so much for watching i'm really happy that you are watching and subscribing to my channel it means really really means a lot it makes me going it makes me make more videos because it's fun to make videos when people actually watch them so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing please comment to the video please like it please subscribe have a good week play some games and i will talk to you soon bye bye